So give me your reaction to uh, how this day has played out for you. Uh, still a little surreal. Um, I mean, the baseball player, especially once you get into the college ranks and you try and or you decide you want to play uh, professional baseball, when your name's finally called, I mean, no matter where it is, to be honest, you start to you just start to freak out a little bit. I mean, that's what was happening. Um, I mean, my parents and I we were just sitting in my parents' bed because we had to hook the uh, iPad up to the TV. It was online, and we were just laying in the bed, and then all of a sudden, John Duplant Duplant's here. I mean. You saw, the, you heard the hard R, misspelled, uh, mispronounced the name, and I mean, my mom just screamed, and I was just like, I was just staring at the TV for about three minutes until the until Tampa Bay even picked. I was just looking at the TV like, no way. Um, so it's still it's still settling, and I still got a little a couple butterflies in the stomach. So, um, but it, it feels it feels great. What's your reaction to being a Diamondback? It's awesome. Uh, I mean, so uh, just being a Diamondback, sweet. I mean. It's kind of a weird, goofy way to put it, but um, I like to play the show on PlayStation, and the stadium I always pick is Chase Field, so it's kind of goofy, but I mean, um, that hit me, and uh, I mean, it's a great, great organization. Um, had some conversations uh, already, and I'm, they got me excited. I mean, they said, hey, we'll call you later in the day, um, just talk logistics and everything, and I mean, I've been, every time my phone buzzes, I'm like, I hope it's them. What are they gonna tell me? When am I leaving? I'm ready to go. Um, Cause I wanna go put the work in now. Cause I can't wait. <laughs> you just kind of brought up a very good point there. The work's really just beginning. Oh yeah, oh yeah. What uh, what parts of your game, or your, about your pitching, do you think really needs the most attention as you go to try to move to the next level? Because now you're talking a game of inches. Right. Maybe it's a game of half inches at this point. Oh yeah, maybe even smaller than that. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I've, uh, not obviously, but one of the biggest things, and it was the biggest thing for me here, I uh, never really got mastery of it, but um, my command control, commanding the fastball, throwing everything for strikes, um, working with a three pitch, and potentially maybe even a four pitch mix down the road. So hopefully, I mean, I plan on uh, repeating my delivery, my mechanics, getting them tight, and, and making sure I'm doing the same thing over and over again, each and every pitch, um, to the point where I'm hitting spots, um, hitting spots, and I'm able to go in and out, up and down in the zone with whatever pitch I feel like it. The arm doesn't seem to be the question. Is oh, this no. all mechanically at this point? Uh, right? Not necessarily, maybe not all mechanically. Um, I mean, I, I'm not an analyst or anything. I, 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 to be honest, I don't know how good my mechanics are. Um, I've heard they're all right. So I don't know if it's going to be so much mechanics as a so much um, repetition thing. Uh, just getting the reps and, and, and throwing more and just pretty much creating muscle memory. So when you hear analysis of yourself, it's kind of fun sometimes. What are some of the negatives that have been said about you in analysis and what is your reaction to them? And then we'll, uh, on the other side, let's, we'll go through the positives. So, I mean, the, the elephant in the room is always uh, my durability, whether or not I'm a hold up. Uh, and I mean, I can't blame them for questioning that. Uh, I can't blame all the red flags all red flags, um, and so my reaction was kind of like, well, okay, you, you feel that, but you know, I threw 111 innings this year, I feel great, so um, I kind of just strive to continue to keep throwing and keep throwing healthily and, and proving that I'm, I'm okay, I'll be alright. Then let's talk the positives. What are some of the big positives that you've heard talked about you and, you know, does that seem to, do you kind of echo what they say? Um, one of the positives I, I hear a lot is uh, my athletic ability. Um, being a bigger guy who can move pretty well, um, teams feel that I'll be able to, to learn quickly. Um, and so once I do start getting all the reps and, and start throwing a bunch, uh, I'll start to progress fast. And so hopefully that's the, that's the case. Cool. John, how did Rice prepare you? You're a high school quarterback. Starks and now you're a draft pick. How did Rice prepare you? Well, I mean, they changed the way I see the game. So uh, if, if you would ask me uh, any question that I think Coach Graham has asked me in the past three years in high school, I would all about all of just, I mean, no clue. Um, no clue. I didn't know what kind of pitcher I was. I just knew for my age and the competition I was playing against, I threw harder and I had a decent breaking ball. So. Uh, I got by. I, I had success, um, and I mean, Rice 
forced me to get better every day. Um, I learned how to put the work in. I learned to enjoy putting the work in. I mean, one of my closest relationships I feel like I had in my time here at Rice is actually our strength coach, Rick Crash. I mean, um, really great guy, and I enjoyed a lot of the work I put in with him. And so um, Rice has kind of taken a football player who was a little bit rougher on the edge as a pitcher, um, and I slowly, slowly started turning into to a pitcher, and hopefully I continue to keep turning into a pitcher in the days to come. And Rice has always had a history of, you know, baseball players making it to the level. You can see the chiseled name is behind oh, you. Yeah. You're, you're, you're about to have your name on there. So uh, overall, talk, talk about the success of Ross baseball. Yeah, I mean, it's a storied program. I mean, Coach Graham came in and really turned it into something. And in, and in this environment, that it's, it's tough to do. I mean, you can't just recruit every good arm, every good bat in high school or JUCO and have them come to Rice because of the academics. Um, I mean, it ain't, it's not easy. Uh, it's not easy. So, uh, I mean, in the budget, the money, everything. I mean, other than, I mean, the degree that we get, the degree we get, the baseball we play, the, I mean, the field is wonderful. It's, I mean, best field I've ever played at. I mean, and um, other than that, I mean, the bigger, the bigger programs, the LSU's, the UT's, I mean, if you really think about it, they're more appealing. And the fact that Coach Graham is able to get guys and turn us into winners and continue to win over the years is that's incredible. It's a testament to him.